Uh, I am not politically correct, so I think that people need to be aware of the Islamization of America, of Europe, and of the rest of the world. If Islam can conquer Europe, it can conquer the United States. Islam is to be superior to all other ways of life, to all religions and all cultures. Coexistence with Islam is not possible because the Quran says so. Okay, I've been teaching at UCF for seven years. I've had quite, I've had quite a few Muslims in the classroom. Uh, every single Muslim who was my student does not know anything about Islam. We have to worry about people who are willing to follow the Quran to, to the letter. You see, the problem is not just terrorism and suicide bombing. The problem is Sharia. But Islam cannot be reformed. Uh, you're not controversial. We are not controversial. But Islam is a religion of pieces. Peace of body here, peace of body there. The problem is Islam. And they procreate like mushrooms after the rain. And the... The Quran forbids suicide, but it allows, in fact, it urges suicide killing. Anybody, like I said, anybody who tells the truth on Islam will be branded as, a, as, an, as an Islamophobe. And I knew it would happen at some point because I, I just go out there and tell the truth on Islam. Islamophobia is a fear of Islam. Some people say it's an irrational fear of Islam. Uh, anybody with a fraction of a brain should be afraid of Islam because it is a dangerous doctrine. It's, am I an Islamophobe? No, because my fear is not irrational. My fear is very much irrational. I know Islam all too well. My fear is very much irrational. I know Islam all too well. Now we have radical Islam that's a problem, but we have mainstream Islam that's also a problem. See, radical Islam would be terrorism and suicide bombings and beheadings and flying planes into buildings. But mainstream Islam has the objective of establishing a caliphate, to establish a caliphate across the world and impose Sharia on all 200 countries in the world. Uh, the main drive to engage in suicide terrorism, uh, of course, and what's awaiting for them are 72 virgins and 80,000 servants and a lot of lads. Coexistence with Islam is not possible. Do I say that? No, the Quran says so. When I see those coexist bumper stickers on cars, uh, I am just, I laugh because I think it's ridiculous and I'm sad at the same time. I think that a lot of coexist people mean well, they wear their heart on their sleeve. I don't think they're bad people, I think they mean well, but they don't understand their enemy. It's a principle of warfare. Sun Tzu, the Chinese philosopher, said know thy enemy. And too many people, too many Americans, too many Europeans, too many people across the world don't understand Islam. When I turn on the television, and there is a news report about interfaith meetings between Christian pastors and Jewish rabbis and imams. Uh, I wonder what the purpose is. Islam does not allow other religions to coexist with us. Don't they get it? Now, you said that it's people think that it's only a tiny minority of Muslims that we have to worry about. Uh, no, all I do is tell the truth.